I grew up in Atlanta and I grew up with Outkast, Goody Mob, the Dungeon family, and everybody I went to school with that I was friends with were creatives, which in Atlanta wasn't really a cool thing back in the day. So growing up with those guys and just, you know, seeing their their method and like their strategies and the way they were approaching art and taking it dead serious influenced me and the direction I went into as far as doing graffiti. So I'll play in a second here, we'll see. I can show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. The guy who started um, Outcast and Dungeon Family, who made that whole sound, his name's Ray Murray. He's one third of Organized Noise, a production team here, which made the Atlanta sound. He was a graffiti writer that wrote Raz, and when, when I first noticed graffiti, it was his. So that, that was the spark. The circle of Dungeon Family, we never looked at it as like, okay, you guys do music and you guys are the artists. We just looked at it as kind of like Southern hip hop. We didn't even really know about the elements of hip hop, but to later find out, you know, that these are the four elements of hip hop being DJing, break dancing, graffiti, and uh, emceeing. And we just looked at it as one big creative movement. While those guys were in the studio making music, I was painting trains behind the studio. Sometimes those guys would watch out for me. We started just applying, you know, traditional like graffiti that you as known as it is today. We started applying it to freight trains because they go all over North America, Canada, you know, uh, Mexico, being in the South and not being seen as much. That was a good way for us to like, you know, let the world know that we were here and, and it worked way better than we could ever imagine. We were in Philadelphia, it was snowing. I got on tour with the Outcast. There was trains at our hotel, and, and I was like, man, I knew I should have bought some more paint. And Andre 3000 was like, oh, I, I just happened to have some paint on my bus. And like, they all watched out for me. We painted trains before we went, went into our hotel with the tour buses sitting outside. You know, I, I embrace my graffiti history. You can see my graffiti in all my art. It's, it's pretty much just a bunch of graffiti style, because graffiti, you know, isn't on canvas, it's on trains and buildings. But if it was to be on canvas, there it is. Um, I have a lot of murals here like all over Ponce Leon, East Atlanta Village, all the way up to Buckhead. By Atlanta is creativity. 